name is Beck and welcome to my August reading plans. I'm hoping to read a bunch of these during the month of August, but there's also the Magical Readathon, so I have a whole separate to be read list for that. So cross your fingers for me because I'm gonna need it because all of the books on this list are quite long. So hopefully I can smash out my Magical Readathon list because they're all shorter and then jump into these. So with fingers crossed, let's get into it. First up is a carryover from July because I didn't quite get to it, but I'm about halfway through, so I'm hoping that I can blast through the last half of this. It is Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. It's a fantasy book about demons, but because I love it so much, even though it's long, I think I can make time to sit down and smash through it. So give me your best in the comments because I'm gonna need all the luck I can get, but this is a brilliant fantasy series that might be a contender for one of my new favorite series because I'm already thinking about going out and buying the sequels and that is always a good sign. Then we have a book that I have pre-ordered and it's by Gina Dawson and it's Her Majesty's Royal Coven and this is an urban fantasy book. It's the first in a trilogy I think. It's also an adult book written by Gina Dawson and I've only read Young Adult by her so I'm really excited about this. I honestly couldn't tell you much about what it really entails except to say that it's got magic, it's urban fantasy and I think it's set in the UK. Maybe there's secret societies, who knows. I'm really really hyped for it and I hope my pre-order comes very very early August because I want to sink my teeth into it. Then I've also got two books that I said that I would read last month and I just didn't get to and that is Guards Guards and Night's Watch by Terry Pratchett. These are two books in the Discworld series that Dave has been on me to read and I keep saying I will and then I just don't have the time to do it so my aim is to read them this month because they're middle grade so they should be shorter so I'm hoping that I can get through these as well. I don't know too much about them either to be honest except that Guards Guards I see hyped up everywhere and for some miraculous reason I've managed to avoid spoilers so far so I'm really proud of myself. I'm looking forward to reading them because if he loves them I'm probably gonna love them too. And then I'm also doing a reading vlog over reading booktuber's favorite books and I've really dropped the ball on this because one, I got sick, and two, I've just been very busy and I haven't had time to squish reading in between all of the other stuff I've had to do. So I'm trying to read Elliot Brooks' Regan from Peru's Project and Emily Fox's Favourites. And I've put them all in a reading vlog. And the last one that I need to read is Send Lena Sends, and this is one of Regan's favourites. This is about a guy who goes to this tower, and I think every level of the tower has a different political entity on each level and his wife goes missing or she's murdered and he has to solve this murder. But I have started this, I'm about six pages into it and it's already described the wife in a way that I don't like. So I might end up just DNFing this, but I don't like this trope anyway of the woman in the fridge. So the woman gets shafted in order for the male to progress in his storyline just because. So I'm hoping that I can get past that trope because I have liked stories after that trope occurred in the past. So I'm thinking maybe I could like this, I just need to give it a bit of a crack. So I'm gonna try and get 50 to 100 pages into this. And if not, if not, I might not like it anyway, but I have to at least try. And then I must have viewed August as a month to finish up books I'm currently reading because this has been on my currently reading shelf for several months now. It's a reread though, so it's not as bad, I keep saying to myself. And that is Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third Mistborn book. And I'm doing a reread because the newest book comes out at the end of the year, but that reread has been stagnant for a while and so I need to stop telling myself that I am doing a reread for the end of the year because the end of the year is fast approaching. I don't have a lot of time left so I'm hoping to finish this in August, maybe September if I can, but we'll see because <laughs> I'm about 100 pages into this. It's 700 pages long. Ruin of Kings is also 700 pages long. So if I can read a book that quickly that I haven't read before, I'm hoping that I can get through this quite fast as well. So <laughs> cross your fingers and toes for me because I'm setting my aim high. And then lastly, for this TBR at least, I'm going to be rereading an audiobook and Pierce Brown has released the titles of his next two books in the Red Rising saga and they're coming out, or at least one of them is coming out next year in May. So if I don't get to this audiobook and I choose something else then that's fine, but I would like to reread Iron Gold in anticipation of the new Red Rising books coming out and get up to date so I know where I'm at and know where the story's at and whether I'm probably gonna like them or not. So Iron Gold is also 
massive and the audiobook is like 24 hours long or something so I'm just gonna make my way through it for all of August and hope I get through it. <laughs> it's probably gonna take me a while because audiobooks are taking me a while lately so that is all I can hope for. I've already read it before but I will be pausing to take notes and everything because I kind of want to do a recap and have all my notes available to me when I read Dark Age so I've got all of them fresh for when I go into the newer books by him. It has been a while and there's a gap since he released anything so I really need to catch up and I want to make make it worth it. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to rereading this. I hope that I like it more the second time around. That is really my TBR for August. All of the stuff on here bar the middle grade is quite chonky so wish me luck but thank you so much for watching this video. I'll come chat to you down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!